Sturton. As the final votes are cast, Kenneth Clark says he's confident, William Hague is optimistic, the leadership contest is too close to call. Good afternoon. Kenneth Clark went into the final ballot with another showing he remains the favourite among constituency chairmen. The other headlines, the two environmentalists in the McLibel trial have lost their case against McDonald's. Elephant's tusks will be sold again. The ban on the ivory trade is being partially lifted. And the age for buying fireworks is being raised to 18 and bangers will be banned. Nationally organised event. Alison Holt, BBC News. The legal trade in ivory is due to resume after the ease restrictions at the Conference on Endangered Species in Zimbabwe. The plan by Zimbabwe, Botswana and Namibia was approved despite protests from environmentalists. The trade has been banned for the past seven years to help reverse the decline in elephant numbers. Butchery like this inspired the global ban on ivory seven years ago. But Botswana, Namibia and Zimbabwe argued that they have more elephants than their land can sustain. And if they were allowed to sell ivory stocks, the proceeds could be put towards conservation and development programs in areas where it's live. It was an argument which carried weight with delegates to CITES, the International Conference on Endangered Species being held in Zimbabwe. In a secret ballot, more than two-thirds voted in favour of the three Southern African countries being allowed to resume limited trade in ivory. No debate was allowed, prompting criticism from opponents, including the United States and Australia, that the process was being rushed. The decision means that in 18 months' time, combined ivory stocks of more than 150 tonnes can be sold to Japan, the main market. The agreement is conditional on strict controls being enforced international monitoring. WWF are opposed to the trade in ivory unless all safeguards can be met and um, by safeguards we're talking about the actual trade controls uh, these should be adequate and at the moment we're, un we're not convinced that they will be adequate the previous global ban would be reimposed if the trade rules are broken in any way but opponents argue that the controls will be unenforceable leaving elephants at the mercy of ivory poachers Linda Duffin BBC News and the time is 13 minutes past one